back at California Speedway, the closing laps of our NASCAR Winston West Auto Club 200. It'll be less than 15 laps to go. As let's see if we can chat with one of the drivers up toward the front, David Green. Hey, David Green, Benny Parsons, you read me? I got you, Benny. Go ahead. Okay, you're right now in four spot. Tell me how you're going to win this thing. I'd feel a lot better if I was right behind that three car, but uh, that little uh, deal there in the pits. But we're okay, Benny. The Kenny and Kenny's car and mine are about the same, and uh, just now to snooker him a little bit, but I don't know if you can do that. Why did you make that pit stop, David, this last pit stop? Well, in Winston West rules, they only could do two tires at a time, so we had our tires mismatched, and, of course, everybody came in, Kenny came in, we were going to anyway, so you got to stay on an even playing field. Well, good luck to you. Thank you, and what a beautiful racetrack. You know, this is uh, beautiful. Thanks to Roger Penske and all those folks. Uh, great racetrack. God, David. NASCAR Bush Grand National Series champion, now a rookie in the Winston Cup ranks. And Mike Wallace, a 91 car, all the other cars on the lead lap pitted except Mike Wallace. The Span car, the Chevrolet, is up front, and we see Kenny Schrader in second, Butch Gilliland in third, the fourth place car is David Green, and fifth is Scott Gaylord. Final laps here at California Speedway, inaugural weekend. They are side by side. And Jackie O'Neill, the Winston West flagman, waves the green as they come roaring out of turn four. You know, David Green mentioned the little, little pit stop thing there. And, you know, I think the Winston West drivers have done an incredible job and have done themselves very proud. And I think the Winston West pit crews did themselves proud, too. They pitted with the three cars, they pitted with David Green's car, Kenny Schrader, and they came out right back with them, just like they do on a regular basis. So, uh, they've not only got good drivers out here, they've got good pit crews. We talked about this being the opportunity 200 because a lot of Winston West talent wanted to be seen by some of the best Winston Cup cars, but Mike Wallace wanted to be able to run this race for a lot of reasons, Benny Parsons. This is an opportunity for him. He started dead last in 25th spot and now leads with 13 to go. Exactly. He can win a race, and that's always something good to add to a resume. Also, today, he's got a couple hours of exposure for his sponsor, Spam, and to him, I think that's worth a great deal. And 278 Ron Peterson spins on the Out of turn two, heavy impact by the part of the 78, Ron Peterson. And that has been one of the trouble spots, and they are side by side. Back to the caution flag. Schrader right side of your screen. Wallace left, and Schrader will win the dash to the caution. Now the 96 car is a little bit closer to the 33 car, and right now just 12 more laps to go before the end of the race. Can they get the racetrack clean? See the safety workers running down to Peterson, asking if he's okay. That's Ron Peterson's Chevrolet. That has been one of the trouble spots today. Heavy impact by the driver. The car looped around the back of the car, taking the brunt of the impact. The safety crews are there immediately to help extricate the driver. And here's a double zero on pit road. Scott Gaylord, had, who had been running in the top 10, now being shown back in 11th spot, he comes on the pit road, and the crew now will raise the hood and that's, take a look. That's not a good sign. Anytime they raise the bonnet and start looking around, that's not a good sign. Tom Puskarich, who was the crew chief down there for Scott Gaylord, taking a look. Jack, what are they looking for? Well, Jerry, it's a recurring problem. Remember we told you that the car was missing? Well, early on, they did some troubleshooting, and they found out that the spark plug wires were actually leaning up against the header. You can hear the car behind me, and it's the same sort of a miss once again. They've checked all the spark plug wires. Now they're going down towards the carburetor. And you know, part of the problem there is you've got to take all the intake cowling off to get the air cleaner off. They've accomplished that. They're now going to check the distributors and also each and every one of the plug wires. But they've got an electrical problem. He's gone down a lap. And we heard him shoot, turn the engine off as the field goes by, putting Scott Gaylord down the lap. 
Gaylord had such a great run. Fifth overall in the point standings. There's the action there. The extrication taking place. We'll show you what happened here to bring out the caution flag. Well, the crash is already in progress. What might have caused this thing to begin with? Have no idea because there's no cars behind him. It looks like it was uh, maybe just long. Oh, here comes other cars. But a long time before those other before those other cars came along, kind of like he just lost the control of the car. Yeah, he was in he was in a dead space all by himself. The the other pack was pretty good space in front of him, and those guys were behind him. And uh, you know that has been a trouble spot uh, in Winston Cup practice. It's been a trouble spot. It has in the IROC series and now in in this series also. Let's, there was there we see all those cars up there. One of those cars will be the one on the very end as we run the forward, watch the smoke come up. All by himself, Kyle. Get all the way down to the grass to try to avoid the spinning car. Ron Peterson, 38 years of age. Peterson is a roofing contractor in nearby San Bernardino. His first ever start in a Winston West car. In fact, he had never set in a Winston West car until Thursday this week. A competitor in the NASCAR Southwest Tour for the past five years off and on. And let's go down to the pits once again and check in with Jack Aroot. Guys, you know, normally courtesy calls for in Winston Cup racing that if a yellow goes out, all of the leaders kind of back out of the throttle and don't race back to the caution. That is until it counts for a position or maybe for a win. That's precisely what happened with Kenny Schrader and Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace's crew reminded Mike that, hey, this thing may not go back to green flag, so race him to the caution, race him to the caution. He came up short. Schrader takes the lead under the caution. All Mike Wallace could say to his crew is, doggone it, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, coming up next here at the conclusion of our Winston West action at the X Games from San Diego, California. We're gonna go extreme here on ABC's Wide World of Sports, and we'll be going right down the coast very quickly for that X Game competition. Let's take a look and review the field here with 10 laps to go. Riding along with Bill McAnally. He is in 12th position. Kenny Slater, our leader. Mike Wallace in second. Butch Gilderland is third. David Crane fourth. Gary Smith is fifth. Ron Esau is sixth. All those cards in the lead lap. That is the top 15. And we'll take a look at 16 through 25, and we'll see only Woodland and Davis. Davis still on the racetrack. St. James Davis. All the rest of these cars off the racetrack. Talk about drivers wanting to win a race. Uh, talking to Kenny Schrader, he hasn't won a Winston Cup race since the spring of 1991 at uh, Dover, Delaware, as the work continues there over in turn two. The car is sponsored by Golden Gate Meats. These fellas always cook for Richard Childress when he goes to Sears Point. Well, they came down yesterday and cooked for him and invited me over. And I tell you, these guys might be the greatest cooks on the face of the earth. Man, man. All right, updating you once again on the caution. Ron Peterson, the 38-year-old driver, his Chevrolet Monte Carlo. There's his Chevrolet, heavy impact, and he is still in the car. The safety crews very promptly on the scene, as they are being very careful to extricate the driver from the car. Splints that are being used, backboards that are available. That's something that has come very, very far in recent years in NASCAR, and that's the acute care on the racetrack. If you want to ask Ernie Irvin about that, he probably wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the outstanding care he got at the scene at Michigan Speedway back on August 20th, 1994. It's an excellent point, and, and let's point out that this is a Penske track also, and any track that you go to where Roger Penske's involved, it's, it's incredible the, the amount of safety care that they do, do have at those facilities. There we see the driver is now out of the car. And they're placing him down on the board. That again is Ron Peterson out of San Bernardino. And they are bringing the cars down pit road. And these laps are counting or have been counting under the caution flag. We are inside 10 to go. This looks like a red flag situation, Kyle. Like they're going to stop the cars until that situation is cleaned up in the corner so that they're not robbing the fans here of green flag racing. Yeah. 
that's exactly what it looks like. The flagman is still holding the yellow flag, but it does, you know, very rarely do they bring you down pit road unless it is a red, fla red flag situation. All right, indeed, we are told that uh, they are contemplating the red flag, and NASCAR will stop these cars at the end of pit road, and that is done for a couple of reasons. Obviously, the pit strategy involved with the fuel for the final lap, that's not a factor because of the caution flags, and a number of these teams have topped off, but the fans, this great crowd that's waited for so long to come back to see NASCAR racing in Southern California should be entitled to what would be one whale of a shootout these final nine laps. There's a look at some of this crowd. And there is the driver who has been extricated. That's Ron Peterson from nearby San Bernardino. Here's Chevrolet coming into contact with the wall in turn two, bringing out the sixth caution flag. We are under this red flag situation. We'll come back in just a moment and finish this race here in California Speedway. Meanwhile, let's check in with Robin Roberts with a preview of the X Games, which are going to come up next. All right, thank you, Robin. We're looking forward to that extreme competition coming up just down the coast in San Diego at the conclusion of our Auto Club 200 from here at California Speedway. Well, it has been an eventful day, not certainly the events we wanted to see happen. A lot of a fiery crash on lap 11. An inferno veritably in turn two and almost in the exact same spot here with less than 10 to go. This car number 78 has come to rest. A hard impact by San Bernardino, California driver Ron Peterson. He has been extricated from the car. We'll try to get an update on his condition when we come back as well as the final laps of the NASCAR Winston West Auto Club 200 from the brand new California Speedway. Stay with us.